Hi, welcome to Brizzy. Use the table element when you need to display data or product comparisons on your web page, or even use it as a container element to sort your content in rows and columns. The table element is a pro element for both Brizzy Cloud and Brizzy WordPress. From the element sidebar, simply click drag the table element onto a container. In this case, I'm simply dragging it to an empty block. The table can be divided into three areas the head, the sidebar, and content area. All of these areas can be styled independently, which gives you absolute control over how the table will display. Before we look at the settings and styling, let's work on the content first. We are very proud of this part, as we worked to ensure you can do this the Brizzy way. Simply drag any element into the cells and you can build out any content within the cell. No need for complicated fields or templates. Access the table settings at the top right hand corner of the element. To deactivate the head row or the sidebar, toggle these switches. Control how many rows and columns here. As the table element always takes on the width of the container it is in, in this case the canvas width of the block, you can reduce it by changing the width set in percentage. Note though it only affects the width of the content and not the sidebar. That we set independently. Before we look at the color options, jump onto settings. Padding here relates to the cells padding. This is useful if you need to add more space inside the cell between the borders and your content. Padding here only applies to the content area, and for the head row and sidebar, you have separate padding controls. Color. From the start, notice we have two tags to select here on the left of the color manager. The first one affects all the odd rows, that is row 1, 3, 5, and so forth. Change the color to your style, and then select the label below it. Now you'll affect all the colors for the even rows, namely 2, 4, 6, etc. If you want your rows to have the same color, simply select the same color for both labels. The borders for the content area are also set here at the bottom right of the color manager. Set the thickness of the border here and choose the color. If you need the border color to be more prominent, simply drag the opacity slider to full opacity. Move on to the head row. To change the column headings, select text the Brizzy way and type in your desired text. For styling, select the first column text. You can set an icon for it and then click on the others to set icons for them. The rest of the settings here will apply to all of the head row. Full control for text and color styling behave similar to that of the content area. The first label applies color to the odd background columns and the second label applies color to the even columns. The color option here relates to the head row text color, which can also be applied alternatively between odd and even columns. Select the settings icon to adjust the padding for the head cells. The sidebar works for all intents and purposes similar to that of the head row, except you also have control here over the width of the sidebar. Click on any of the headings and then select settings, set the width of the sidebar as desired. Under the more settings, you can set the padding for the sidebar cells. This feature is also available for the head row cells. Apart from using the table element to display things as you would in a traditional table, you can use it as a container element. Deactivate the head row and sidebar, take out all colors and borders, and now you have a great grid in which you can add content. For responsiveness, you have width control over the element for responsive styling on mobile and tablet displays, as well as all the other responsive controls for the elements you've brought onto the content area. We are extremely proud and excited about this element. Test drive the table element today in either pro versions of Brizzy Cloud or Brizzy WordPress, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest news, updates, and tutorials.